Hey everybody, it's Trent again. So we're going to pick up kind of where we left off from the previous video, um, talking about remap and using uh, kind of this uh, grasshopper kind of component to create the remap, kind of see how it looks, and uh, yeah, and then this video we're going to talk about stitches uh, and how to create them and, and kind of this uh, the new panel that we've just created. So. So one of the things I do want to touch on before that is kind of like these interactions. So, so I've done everything in this kind of 2D view and now I'm going to switch over and I can see that there's maybe some interaction that's happening. I've kind of moved it up, but still um, what we need is actually like a, like a like an edge loop. So what I can do in the 2D is I can just use the basic Rhino commands of insert edge. And then what I want to change is uh, from absolute to proportional, so I get more of like a natural kind of feel. So what it's automatically going to do is update, and we can see that it's looking a lot better um, in it. So what I can do next is is I need to get this in 3D so that I can kind of see it. Um, and what's nice is that the stitches are working in 3D, which is kind of uh, uh, what we need to be, where we need to be in. So what I'll do is I'll create a new layer, call it 3D Parts. We'll go ahead and hit Bake, say OK, and there we are. And it's still red because I still have Grasshopper open. I'm just going to make a new one, and there we go. So I'll turn that off, and you can see now that I don't have any laces yet. We'll get to that, and then. Uh, no stitches. So essentially I could either make like some type of uh, channel or something, but I'm actually just going to use it right on there. And the reason why quad meshes are always kind of better is that now I can like use this curve or this uh, edge loop as kind of where I want my stitches. So we have a, a new panel. So that's in the properties and you just go into botches stitching and there's kind of three, there's all these different ones kind of as presets, but we can also have, we can also have you set up your own with the kind of create. So the first thing I would need to do is kind of make a curve on this part. So we take this part and with Rhino's new kind of selection sets, I'm holding control shift, hit one uh, curve or one edge and then the other edge, and then I'm going to double click in the middle. So that just selects that kind of piece of those 22 mesh edges. I'm going to dupe edge on these ones, and then I'm going to join. So once I have it as a curve, then I can go ahead and add uh, a stitching on there. So I just go to B, Stitch Create, and you can see that the corresponding patterns, this is just kind of a, a way to either add one, import, and just kind of be able to save and see how the visualizations of these are occurring. So I'm going to use the zigzag one. I'm going to say the style is curved, project onto mesh, uh, as well as my projection maximum distance as well. So we do want it to be on the mesh because we want it to follow a certain like kind of uh, the normal direction of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that curve that I just created. And then once it gets to here, uh, all I need to do is hit select. And there we go. So I already have stitches. It's that simple. So we can go around and do some other stitches or I'll let you guys have some fun. Cool. 